Hey you guys, Shane here, and I want to show you some quick and easy stretches you can do at your desk to help manage stress and de-stress during the busy holidays. Now, whether or not you work in a warehouse or in a cubicle or in a communal workstation environment, these are things you can do while sitting in your chair. You don't even have to stand up if you don't want to. So one thing that we know about managing our stress is taking a deep breath. So if you want, just close your eyes wherever you are. And what I like to do is just kind of open up my stance a little bit, sit up nice and tall, kind of scoop to the edge of your chair. Now, if your chair has rollers on it, just be very careful, right? That it doesn't scoot out away from you, but just scoot to the edge of your chair, sit up nice and tall, relax those shoulders. And you can even close your eyes, you guys, and just, Take a couple deep breaths in, right? Kind of feel your rib cage, your belly kind of expand out and then pull back in. And even just taking those 20, 30 seconds can really help manage stress. I'm gonna show you a few stretches as well. Now I've taken my shoes off just to kind of be able to stretch out my feet and wiggle my toes. And sometimes that just feels really good to do throughout the day, depending on your footwear. So one thing you can do is start sitting up nice and tall and just start with some easy shoulder rolls, kind of up and back and just kind of feel those shoulders pull up to your ears and then roll them back and then down away from your ears. And that can feel amazing, right? And you guys do this as long as you want to. If this feels great and you want to keep rolling those shoulders, great, you can do that. Just pulling those shoulders away can help also really open up our chest Keep that tension out of our head and neck, which many of us get, you know, what we call text neck, you know, or on the computer a lot. So getting those shoulder blades up and down and pulled back is a great thing, you guys. A couple other things. You can just let that chin drop towards your sternum and then just li gently lift up and kind of look up towards the ceiling. And even doing that a couple times is great, you guys. Just going side to side, just feeling that rotation, even bringing your ear toward your shoulder and switching sides. Now, I don't want you to pull on your neck, but there's a couple things you can do to kind of facilitate that stretch. Interlace those fingers, place them behind your head. Now, don't pull, just let the weight of your hands just gently drop your chin toward your sternum and you can start to feel a really nice stretch down the back of your neck, you guys, and even into to your trapezius a little bit. Similarly, you can take a hand, again, don't pull, just place it on the side of your head and let that ear just drop to the shoulder and just feel that lengthening of the side here, you guys. It can feel great, and just make sure you do both sides. A lot of times we get some tension in our hands and in our forearms, Extending that arm out and applying gentle pressure on the back of the hand here feels amazing through the forearm, you guys. And you can also flip it. Again, apply gentle pressure here. Of course, make sure you do both arms. You don't want to just do one. You can work the back of the shoulder, you guys. Arm nice and long. So you have a nice long lever here. Bring it across the body. Anchor it and just slightly pull in so you have a slight kind of traction, keeping that shoulder down away from the ear so don't let the shoulder shrug up, stay nice and tall. And again, doing both sides. Yeah, feels so great, you guys. And remember to keep breathing through all of this. Now you can work out the front. You can bring those arms back behind you. If you want, interlace those fingers and just lengthen and open up through the chest. So you're stretching through the chest as well as the front of your shoulder, you guys, your anterior deltoid, good. And just sitting up nice and tall. I don't want you to arch through your low back, stay neutral to that spine, but really open up through the front. Right, and those are some great stretches kind of for the upper body here. What about your torso? Again, legs nice and wide here, feet relaxed on the floor. You can kind of grab the outside of your thigh and even the chair if you want, and just slightly facilitate a rotation through your torso. Taking your get gaze over that shoulder, and then of course switch sides. You don't want to pull, you guys, just gently facilitate that rotation and then coming back into center. I can also 
do the stretch, you guys, where I cross my leg. It also helps anchor a little bit more, grabbing the outside of that knee and again, rotating here. It actually provides a little more traction, all right? My favorite, all-time favorite, you guys, crossing the leg into like a figure four position. So pulling that leg up, and for many of us, if our hips are tight, you will have to facilitate that pull, and that is fine. If you want, just start sitting up nice and tall, keeping that knee out to the outside. Now this, for many of us, can feel amazing through the hips because we tend to be tight. If you want, you can start to kind of gently lean forward as well. This will go a little deeper into the back of that hip and just hang out here for a few seconds, take a couple deep breaths, and then come on up and switch sides doing the other side. And you can just do that, you guys, and feel amazing. It's a great way to kind of help manage our stress. If you want to stand up, you can do so. Depending on if you're in a cubicle and you're looking at everybody now, just placing your foot on that chair, right? Making sure you can stabilize on your desk or whatnot and just holding there. Sometimes that can feel like a great stretch through the quad or grab that foot and just hold and stretch. Think about pushing through or forward with that hip and that will help get a little deeper stretch into the front of that hip, which is where many of us can really experience some tightness. And then of course, gently release and switch sides. So if we can take three, five minutes, even sitting at our desk to just stretch or take a few deep breaths, that will help manage our stress through this busy holiday season. Take care, you guys. Be well.